Hey folks, we're having record heat here on the last of February and the first of March uh, in Jacksonville, Florida. Yesterday, I believe the NOAA Weather Radio said that we set a record at uh, 87, 89, something like that. So, get a little thirsty. I'm doing some maintenance on the boat because that's what I do besides video when I'm not fishing. I try to pay attention to everything I do, I can on my boat. And I was thinking as I was doing my little maintenance uh, of something that was literally astoundingly fantastic when I learned it. I learned something off of an older gentleman that was on uh, a forum that I belong to called AluminumAlloyBoats.com. I'm not super active in it anymore because I got into the YouTube thing. It takes up a ton of time. But he built boats and he was way up in Alaska somewhere. And we got to talking about Teleflex steering and hydraulic steering units. And somebody brought up how much a quart of that Teleflex hydraulic steering fluid costs. And this old guy got on there and says, what the hell you doing? You buying that shit? You know, at $25 a quart or $19.99 a quart. And we all went, you know, everybody said, well, yeah, you can, it says you can use this, this, and this. And he goes, let me tell you something. He says, up here in Alaska, we don't have all these fancy things out in the middle of no man's land where he lived. He says, if you want to use something uh, for your hydraulic steering, your, your hydraulic steering fluid, your oil, uh, he says, I use nothing but Marvel's mystery oil. We've all seen this, right? Marvel's mystery oil. Even in Alaska, in no man's land, he can go to the Napa parts store or he can go to, you know, um, any automotive store, which he said he had near him. And he can pick up this. And he said, just use Marvel's Mr. Oil in your Teleflux steering. And I'm thinking, my God, why didn't I think of that? Because number one, it's red. You see it when it's leaking versus maybe a clear stuff that you're not going to see. And when you're working in the back here, you're, you're at your transom and you're messing around and you happen to get whew, a whiff of spearmint, not spearmint. What is that? I don't know, but it just smells fantastic. What does that smell? Evergreen. No. Yeah. Ever, evergreen. Wintergreen. That's it. I, believe me, you can tell. I don't write scripts for these videos. Wintergreen. And you know, when you're back here, and he always said, um, I mean, this is a man who built boats. And he didn't use like these hydraulic cables or these hydraulic lines. He brought the hydraulic lines into the back of his custom built aluminum boats. And then from there, from in the back of the boat up to the helm pump, he ran either stainless steel piping through the boat and up there. And I mean, all oh, the work. Oh my gosh, the man was a master when you saw the photographs of this. He'd bring these because of these, of course, need to go back and forth with the engine. But once they entered inside the transom here, he had like stainless steel 
uh, piping. Not really. What would you call it? Yeah, stainless steel piping. Like, you know, 5 16ths, 3 8 quarter inch, I don't know what size he used. And he would bend it just so perfect, and it would bend so perfect, and then bend so perfect. And he had it all in these, like, rubber hangers, isolators, you know, vibration proof. I mean, the man was an utter genius, number one, and an artist. When he built an aluminum boat, it was an art form, okay? You could do that. He did it in his shop. Um, he had big, uh, big buildings on his property. But this is one thing that he said to me. And I just happened to be, like, I don't know, changing out this unit back here because it was just toast or something. I've gone through, I don't know, how many of these... I don't know how many helm pumps in the 10 years that I've had the Jetty Wolf here. But what I also do is I take an old bottle of rain -X or something like this. I tear off the label and I put marbles on there. And I keep this on my boat because right now, and I'll show you, and we've all experienced this. Let me grab the camera. Right now, I'm getting a little leakage right here across these glands that wipe back and forth on the shaft okay getting just a little 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 drippage little leakage so over the course of time you can run your finger here and it's a little wet on both sides now these are a royal pain in the ass to change out I've done it on I don't know how many boats I don't know how many times I've done, gone here, but it's just one of those things that when you own hydraulic steering, these little glandular wipers are going to wear out and they start to leak. So what happens is I might see right down here, right here, I might see after a big day's worth of fishing, what do I see? a little red drop right there just a little just oh man just a slightest little red drop <coughs> so then i'm out the other day and i got a huge load on the boat i i'm not even going to go into what happened the other day i got a huge load of humans on my boat and we're really, I'm really kind of bogged down. So let's just put it this way. There were six of us on my boat. Now you would think six on the boats, no big deal. But when I was making a hard turn, I kind of felt the steering kind of go as I was turning and I'd turn back and I'd go. Tch. So that is your first telltale sign that you're low on fluid. So the nice thing to always have is a bottle like this with one of these where if you have to top off your hydraulic steering pump you know just because this is bothering you you can open that cap up there and i'm going to show you in a second and you can just dribble a little bit in there just dribble a little bit in so i keep this on the boat I keep this right in my my toolbox that I keep on the boat. So, um, and there's something else I'm going to share with you too here that you probably already know. Maybe you don't, maybe you don't. But let's go up in the boat. And let's take the old steps up to the up to the jetty roof. All right. So. I keep this in right here with my flares. I got a little bottle of it down there. There's my a bottle of a leave, my hydrogen peroxide, all my band-aids and bandages and stuff that I've pretty much over the years used on myself. Yeah, on myself. Nobody else is getting hurt except for me. I've too many times suffered from and one time it was pretty extreme uh, suffered from shark bites 
Oh man, one time it was really bad, real bad. My whole, well, let me clamp this on here. So, where can I do this? Okay, hold on. Whoop. Yeah. One time it was all the way around. Just opened her up. <laughs> I used, we, we used the entire first aid kit just on my finger. And you can see that video. It's because right after I got bit by a shark, it cost seven foot hammerhead, which was really nice. That's in my shark playlist. But what I'm talking about here is being able to take this cap off right here on your helm pump. Okay. Now, after I fill it, I always got to watch that. Oh, yeah, here comes some coming out. And I think a lot of this has to do with, I mean, I kind of overfilled it, I think. This has a lot to do with this extreme temperature changes that we're having. Um, I don't, I'm no mechanic. But I can tell you through over the years that, um, yeah, I've noticed I start having a little leakage back there and I start having a little problem here, a little needing some fluid in here. The minute, yeah, it goes from 50 degrees to almost 90. And that's usually in the spring, right? So what I do is I take that bottle. I, I just threw it down there. Let me get it. I take this bottle, I open this little spout up, which this is nice to have. This is a, a Rain-X bo bottle, and I'll just dribble some in there that I need. So the big tip, the big tip is keeping some of this on your boat, the Marvel's Mystery Oil, after you've done if you were changing out those those glands at the end or whatever they call them, go ahead and just use buy yourself four or five bottles of Miss Marvel's Mystery Oil at Walmart, especially because that's the cheapest place, and um, just put that in your system. Burp out the, all the all the air, and I'm telling you, I mean, yeah, somebody might go, oh, geez, that that stuff's not made for it. Guess what? It's been running in this engine since I've had it in the hydraulic steering. It's been running in two Hondas that I had before here. It was running um, over the course of what? Over 10 years? The reason those glands are, are uh, loosening up could be this huge temperature swing and they're old. They're old. As much as I use the boat and that's wiping back and forth, that's just what happens. That's part of the maintenance of your hydraulic steering system. One of the other things that I wanted to just mention to you real quick is while I was getting the Mr. Oil Advanced Auto, they had two for one on this brake parts cleaner. I don't know if you know, but electrical contact cleaner or brake parts cleaner is one of the things that I use, and I use it on $350 Ryoga, Daiwa Ryoga reels. Um, this is one of the best things in the world for like cleaning reels. Either if you're taking them apart or you're just cleaning some grime off of them, not apart while they're all in one piece. I did four Ryogas yesterday with actual electric contact cleaner, but the brake parts cleaner is the same. You just don't want it leaving a whole lot of residue or anything. And the whole idea is it takes the grime off. In salt water, I mean, it's taken, it's taken salt off, it's taken any buildup, any oils, any greases, especially, I don't know about the spinners. I don't, I don't use spinning reels. But on a baitcaster, you know, you get the wiping back and forth on your on your level lines and stuff like that. So it was two for one at Advance Auto, so I bought some. So 
I guess, what was that, five bucks for two cans. And I'll just keep them in my tackle room when I'm cleaning my, rock, cleaning my reels up. So that's the little hint that I just wanted to give you. Just wanted to give you a little hint about Marvel's Mr. Oil. Five bucks for the quart. And let's see, 24 bucks or something for the quart of Teleflex hydraulic steering fluid. But then they list other things you can use. Yeah, but is that as readily available as just going down to the store? Hell, I think you could buy Marvel's Mr. Oil in Winn-Dixie in the grocery store, to tell you the truth. There'll always be a bottle of Marvel's Mr. Oil around. When it leaks, it's red. And when you're back there messing around with your engine, if you get a strong whiff of winter green, then you know something's up. Something's up. Like you got a leak. And then I just keep some on the boat. I keep it either for me or anybody else that might be in trouble. You know, I'm sure this stuff is kind of probably even compatible with it. You know, get you home. So, that's it. Is that a tech tip? A how-to? What is that? Jetty Wolf moment? I don't know. I don't know where I'll put it. But either way, there you go. Thanks for watching, and hope you learned something. I don't know. When I learned it, I was ecstatic. Bye.